Um, so yeah, so then okay, so then you got the treatment. Yeah. How, describe the treatment. How would the, how did the process? How does the process work? I just had to. So she's doing all the um, injections and all mm. that. I had to have a suppository just to thicken my womb. Right. Just to um, and that was kind of every couple of days or something I can't really remember I mean it wasn't really much that I had to do mm. it just to sort of look after this area yeah and how did you do you that know, it's just, just it. literally insert a, a chalky suppository okay inside to to thicken yeah. how long you know. did you have to do that for Something like seven days okay. this was kind of towards the end of I mean it's it's a six-week process for her to mm. do all of her injections mm. so it was kind of doing nothing for me really in mm. the in the beginning um, until towards the end, okay, you have to... It was probably some tablets that I had to take as well to... Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest, mm. what, what I had to do. Okay. Like, I so mean, it was a long time ago. <laughs> the girls are right next. <laughs> so after the seven, next day, the day, seven days, and then what happened? Then you go to the... Then seven. we go for the egg. She, so they collect her eggs. Yeah. And then there's extra things that you can have... And then what about a sperm donor? So then oh, yeah, the sperm donor. Yeah. Going back to the sperm donor, I knew that I wanted a Greek donor. Yeah. Um, they had a brand new donor. Yeah. Um, it was an English Greek. Yeah. They had a brand new donor that's never donated before, and he was doing that in the January. And he was like, she said, we have, because, you know, on their list, they haven't got a Greek donor, but we've got one that's donating in January. I was like, right, okay, I want him, want it, want it, want it. It's weird how the universe works. Work, yeah <laughs> yeah I'm such a big believer yeah, yeah. so um yeah so he was my donor yeah. he was all ready mm. he donated that that was all all done ready to go and then um yeah so as for the the lady she's mm -hmm. so I had to do all these all these um procedure procedure prepare, prepare yeah your, procedure your uterus, sorry yeah. my mind keeps yes, going okay. <laughs> in my mind I keep thinking back yeah. and you know because it's it's an amazing time but it's been so yeah. long since I've actually spoke about the yeah. story. I mean, everyone knows that where the girls have come <laughs> from, but actually going back on the whole experience mm. is. Um, so, do yeah. they do it inside of you, or do they do it in a yeah, lab? No, so, yeah, no. Yeah, they obviously they do it in a lab. Yeah. So there's extra things that you can get on top. So yeah. it's called the propel scrape. Mm. So I had the propel scrape. Basically, it was it was quite a painful procedure, but they scraped the lining of my womb mm. to make embeddments right. for the eggs to attach to. Mm -hmm. I had the embryo glue, which they dip the embryos into the glue, another sort of way to mm. help it work. Mm. Um, so I had all that. That was all kind of extra. Mm -hmm. But she had, she donated 10 eggs for me. And then they said, so what they do is they're in a little dish, you know, mm. they had the eggs and the sperm donor. Yeah. They put it under the light. And yeah. that every day she was phoning me because they take it to the blastocyst stage, which is like five days of, of making them sort of attached together. And all that. They're telling so, you what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, every, every day, right? We, we lost a couple of eggs last night. Right. You know, because it could be like there's no no yeah. good embryos at the end. So, the, so there's no guarantee that yeah. they, these two are going to take mm -hmm. and attach and be strong enough for you to then for yeah. them to have inside you. So like, because you said she donated ten eggs, so that means. It's not always ten eggs. Some something depends what how much. Yeah, you could have six eggs. No, she was okay. she'd done well. She'd see, yeah. Mm. Some people in the that are going through IVF, they might even have two eggs that the clinics collected. They might even have one. Let's not forget, it only does take one. Mm. But I was lucky. She, I remember she had ten eggs. Wow. So okay. we ended up after the blastocyst stage. Yeah, six had gone now. You know, we've got three left, and there was two mm. on the day of the. Um, the insemination or the day before the insemination right we've mm -hmm. got two coming in tomorrow you know and they didn't even my mum my dad and that didn't want me to have both put in are you sure what if you end up with twins mm. you know and all oh, right so you can put both in but doesn't necessarily guarantee that yeah they will both work no they okay. yeah no, they get obviously one could work, mm. one both could not work. So if there was three that work, you put three, you could have triplets potentially. Yeah, potentially, oh, yeah. Okay. But because of my right. age, that even the clinic was trying to talk me out of having two, and yeah. I had to sign something as well to say like, um, it's my decision. I'm a hundred percent want two. Yeah. Um, and all that. So. Why did you want two in you? I had in my head that yeah. I was going to have twins. Okay, right. I was. Yeah, I had in my head that I was going to have a light one, a dark one. My, yeah. I manifested it, and you it absolutely worked. Absolutely, have because I've met your daughters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> find the form and everything. Um, 
I signed a form to say this is your choice, you know, mm. we've advised you to just do one and, mm. and all that. So, yeah, my vision was there. No, I knew that. It was, it's, so then you go away and you have to go back seven days later to have the blood test or whatever to see if you're pregnant, see mm. if it's worked. After a couple of days, I was getting these pains in my stomach, like, and, and I just thought, they're attaching. They're, I just know they're attaching to my, like, to my body. And I was saying to my mum, oh, I've got these really bad pains. Just like period pains. Okay. Like, it was like, oh, you know, and uh, my mum's going, oh, God, don't get your hopes up, please. You know, she's more nervous for me than what yeah. I even 